Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the meeting. We're going to uh, lose our quorum at 12.45, 12.43, somewhere in that time frame. And so, uh, and we're going to let me know when Josh and Jill are available. Greg? They'll show up right there. Okay. But I'll, I'll let you know also. All right. So, Alan, you want to have a roll call for us? Yep. Big sir. Yes. Sir. Present. Yes. Okay. We're waiting on the minutes. And let's go to item four is the action regarding our monthly meetings calendar for year 2023. Shelly, tell me. <clears throat> so it looks like it's going to be the third Wednesday at noon, except for November, it'll be the second. Oh, wait, Wednesday? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, now what, what in November? We're November's going to be November 14th because the third week won't work for Todd. And she said that um, the other two boards don't have their meeting on okay. that day. Okay, excuse so. me, just met Jill's beef in me right here. Okay. Um, Jill? Uh, we're getting ready. Did you get the invite? I did not. I did not get an invite. I think Sonia just sent it. Oh, okay. I just got it. Okay. I just got it. Okay, I'll zoom in. Thank you. You bet. Okay. Now, what's wrong on the 15th of November? I'm just curious. Talk to you, Archie. Talk to you, Uh, oh. the, you mean the 21st? Yeah. The 21st, he wasn't going to be able to, he wasn't well, going to be available. Well, the third Tuesday in November is the 15th. Well, it's somewhat a different year. What year are you on? I'm on this year. No, yeah, we need next year. We're making, uh, we need for next year. We need next year. Okay, but this, this coming up is all right. Yeah, okay. we were so scheduled for. The third, the 21st, and November 23 is. Right. Does it work? So you don't. You roll one. Okay. <coughs> so you guys are all good with that? Yep. Nope. I'm going to motion we approve the calendar for 2023 of meeting. Second. Sir? Yes. Big sir? Yes. Yes. Okay. Covered that. Um, finance report should have a copy of it in front of you. Talked to Todd yesterday, he didn't red flag anything for me that I'm aware of. So if any member sees anything they'd like to visit about, well, now's the time. Uh, Sonia. Is that, is that land lease, that monthly land, land lease? lease? Land lease. Is I'm sorry. The, is that is the Martin, what? Martin Marietta. Martin Marietta. Yes. Yeah. What page are you looking? Oh, uh, on the next last page, page on the front. Yes, yeah, so that's Martin Marietta land lease. Okay. Thank you. Second. Mixler? Yes. Sir? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, the next one is discuss any action regarding infrastructure expansion. And so I'm waiting for Jill or Josh to plug in. Um, That is the 
while we're waiting and seeing. Um, let's go to the update, item 7, on top grant. And... Jim just came online. All right. Let's, let's go to infrastructure. Jill, can you hear us? I can hear you. How's it going, guys? It's going good, Jill. What about Josh? Is he... Yes, let me text him here in a minute. He was on another call. Just one moment. Liz is printing your minutes and they'll bring them to you in just a minute. Thank you. Thank you. I can go ahead and get started if you guys are ready. We've kind of okay. talked through some things as a team and we're, uh, we want to congratulate you guys on your ARPA dollars. We know that that's been <laughs> a year or so in the, in the making and it's uh, going to open up all of the plans you have for your infrastructure. And um, I had sent to Stan um, kind of the breakdown of distribution. And he's talked to Chuck Hall, who honestly, Chuck Hall knows pretty much more than anybody, I would say, on how the ARPA dollars are being dispersed. Um, so the... The 15 and the 5 um, are automatically going to water infrastructure and wastewater management. And that happens to be your number one priority that you've highlighted. And at this point, you know, it's, it's already uh, uh, appropriated for that amount. Um, so you're kind of just going to go forward with the plan that you have in place that CEC um, gave you three options. And um, I think as a team, we probably need to go back to the CEC plan and decide which one works best for you. Um, the CEC plan that gave you um, a million per day out of Winoka, you know, that was kind of the most expensive plan, but you have two other options there. Um, but honestly, now that you have your ARPA funds, you've, you have options and you have, you have, a you have the ability to pay for, for whatever option you want. You're not going to spend more than 18 months on any one project regardless and um, that means that you'll have leftover funds even if you get um, EDA matching funds you're still going to have leftover funds so that means you know your second priority of project was the road book um, so at that point you know I think you should direct the second portion of your projects to, to the road. Um, for all ARPA funds, you all know, 2026, um, all funds have to be spent. And so by 2026, um, regardless of what you decide to use your ARPA funds for, but all projects have got to be concluded by that time. And then um, by 2023, you know, that's going to be everything on EDA. If, if you get an EDA award in 2023, you're talking two to three million, most likely, in, um, in matching funds there for an infrastructure project. Um, EDA is going to want to focus on... Uh, the water infrastructure matching. Josh and I have already talked to Stacy. Um, that's their interest. Um, it's going to be the infrastructure of the rail park concerning wastewater. So 
that's what we're looking at right now is a, you know, the 15 million spent on wastewater and then getting re go ahead with the project and then get reimbursed uh, through your EDA grant. Deal, I'm on here now. I'm finally okay. got to call Yeah, go ahead. Uh, your handling is fine. I, I don't know what all you covered before the EDA thing. Well, I, you know, I want to give time for discussion, but uh, wanted to let you know that we had talked to Stacy at EDA, and she had kind of highlighted the priority for us, and then she let us know they still haven't received their federal infusion. So it'll be 2023 before any anything is awarded out of EDA on a federal level. And so we wanted October to be the month where, you know, we would see the infusions, but um, it's really going to be closer to January before they get that federal infusion. Um, so Stacy also let us know that the EDA is getting off of grants.gov, which is the platform that they use for project management of all grants, and they are moving over to Salesforce. Uh, I have personally used Salesforce, and I feel that Salesforce is a lot more efficient, so I'm glad that they're switching over. Um, but you guys know as well as I do, <laughs> working with a state agency on switching over to a plat a different platform is going to be a little bit of work uh, uh, resituating what they need on their filing and so we're looking at early 2023 with your EDA matching Josh do you have anything to add not really just as far as <clears throat> Stacy said the application itself she doesn't anticipate changing so from our perspective of being able to go ahead and, you know, complete the sections of the application, we should be fine. It, the only difference would likely be that we're going to be submitting it to a different place and so grants not go up once they're ready to do that. So, um, but yeah, they're, they're not going to review applications at all until January. And so there's usually once that first review happens, you know, there's anywhere from a month to two to potentially three months before you actually have an award in place. And so it's, as long as the federal ask is in line with the project that you're using the state ARPA funds for, then there shouldn't be an issue matching those two up together. So, and like Jill said, all the DDA grants are under reimbursement. They work on a reimbursement basis anyway. So essentially what you've got now is state money. And rather than you guys having to come up, figure out where you're going to get the cash in your own budget to start this project once the application is ready to go, you've got this newfound bucket of money to start spending to do that instead. So all of it will have to, because it's, ARPA funding initially, it all came from the same place. It's all going to have to still be tracked and managed just like anybody else's ARPA funds, the county, the city, anybody else. So you're still going to have to make sure all those things are being done, which is basically the same as what we do for grants, but it's a little bit different. Um, but I mean, it's not, if you have a system in place, it's no big deal. I mean, we're doing it for nine counties and 10 communities and by now we've got a pretty good system set up to do that so i mean we we could help you guys with that if you wanted it so it, so that's uh, so josh are you talking then like tracking the employment the wages the insurance and all of that jobs creation and all of that is that what you're well but well most mostly what I'm mostly what I'm talking about. All of the boxes that are going to have to be checked to meet the compliance with the ARPA dollars. We've got a system in place to do all of that. We're doing it right now for a lot of folks. We've got I think we're we're helping manage and track and report about thirty two million dollars. 
dollars right now so we've got a good system to do that so you usually we work with a point person in you know in the organization on specifically just for our press so we we communicate with them on what you're talking about employment insurance everything and so we check the boxes like with a point person so if that would be you if that would be someone on the board someone would be appointed that we would work closely with yeah that's what I was wanting to know because our last funding that we received through this was the million dollars and that was where Alita was supposed to track our job creation and our wages and all of that and that's what I wound up doing so that's why I just wanted to know what was included within that you're, are you that's talking about the, 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 the recording that's the recording yes right. that's what I'm talking about Josh is the reporting I just wanted to see what you were referencing what you yeah. were talking about yeah yeah, you know, we, you know, we'll have, we'll, we'll have that of a gut anyway, and anyway, we can do all of that for the Arkham stuff as well. Yeah, if, if you yeah. want us to do that, we want us to do that. But. Okay, quickly, um, can you tell me again the platform that, that ADA is moving to from, from grants.gov to what? To Salesforce. To Salesforce. Salesforce. Yeah. Say it again. Salesforce. Say it again. Salesforce. Yeah. Salesforce. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> Jill, a couple quick items there, <clears throat> just to, because I have really got an opportunity to visit with the board uh, in a public session about this. Okay, the ARPA funds are, are like you said, $15 million, but they are designated for water, wastewater management, and uh, broadband. And yes that's, that's all they can be spent on that 50, that's correct that 15 million it can't be any roads or anything in that the five million is prep funds from the state and it has the availability to the park to be used in whatever fashion the board desires uh, as far as infrastructure and uh, so we'll have latitude on that five million right and that's how he expressed it uh, senator hall did to me last week and he gave me a name in commerce um, i don't have it right uh i've got it in my phone here i didn't i should have wrote it down here that we'll, we'll be working with on this funding and uh, great so he basically said we just funded these programs across the state and then voted on them and then kicked them out and uh, uh, went to their proper agencies so that's right that's what i know from him as of last week and i sent you um stan um the oscn.net uh, the executive sessions link where they formally clarified the process for the negotiations for the public trust so if any of you want to you know go back to that you can look at how they negotiated how it would be distributed okay okay that's that's what uh we know on on the infrastructure as it stands right now uh, Josh, you might just briefly, real quick, quick, just kind of explain like you did to me a little bit on this EDA funding, the matching, how that might work with uh, our two board members here. Well, essentially, you know, once we submit the application, EDA is going to make a decision, number one, if they're going to fund it, and if they are, what percentage they're going to fund it at. And so, you know, let's just just say they decide they're going to fund 60% of it, and that's just picking a number up there. Then, you know, you'll the authority will be on the hook to provide a match for the other 40% of the project. Which now that you have this ARPA funding from the state, you can use that towards your match on the grant should you get the grant, and so. So 
essentially what you what what it amounts to is you've got this bucket of money that you have to use for water and wastewater that just came from the legislature which is part of funds so you're going to use it for that anyway so we're going to submit an application to the eda to essentially try to get some amount two to three million you know that's kind of their that's usually their typical award um get some of it covered through a different pot of money to make your other money go farther so um so whatever once we find out what if they're going to fund the project and what what percentages are going to fund it at then then you'll know you know basically how much money you have left in the pot to do other components of your water and wastewater and any water type stuff that you need to do let's say josh though to um we're just talking hypotheticals here if we're looking at doing some kind of improvement on the road uh going to the park could uh, where would that money possibly we can't use any of the 15 on that right it doesn't sound like it. it sounds like they've tagged it for water and wastewater so you wouldn't be able to use any of that for the broad being i mean for the the road that you need to do and if we submit an application to eda for what for water infrastructure project then that's what you'll have to use that on as well you can't there won't be a deal where you can get the award and then decide to use it on something else so um once that application now you can submit an application to eda to do the road but you can't submit well you can't you're only going to get one project from the eda if you get one and so it needs to either be for the road or for the water and since water is one of the top priorities you now have this extra money that's to be used for water that makes the most sense is to submit the eda application for the water project so that you can use the other money as match funds because if you tried to do the eda grant for the road you're still going to have to come up with match money and it won't be able to come out of that 15 million dollar bucket of arpa funds you got you guys are kind of boxed in with water infrastructure on this because it's don't we have five million that's not tied to water and wastewater in ARPA? Mm -hmm. Why can't that's we correct. use why can't we use that for a match to an EDA grant? You could if you want to do a road project instead of a water project. You could use you could use But it would be less like you, amount so, I'm not, It would what? What'd you say? It would be less overall matching money because it's a smaller amount. Do you yeah, see what I'm saying? But if you're talking about a two or three million yeah. dollar grant, it's over that. What's the matter? Yeah, I mean, you're going to get what you get from. I don't think I don't anticipate the amount of award to be much different from EDA, whether it's the road project or water project. So, you know, it would just be up to you guys what which route you want to take. Well. I had a question here, Josh, just in your vast experience, um, you know, we have broadband listed there. We didn't get to choose on this. This was just, you know, I don't know whether there's any latitude to negotiate that because broadband is going to be delivered to the park by Pioneer at some point uh, without yeah. us being involved. You're, you're not going to be able to negotiate that. You're going to have to use that money for what they gave it to you for. That's, okay. It's a use it or lose it kind of deal. They're not, there's no negotiation room on that. Well, and I, yeah, I wouldn't try because if you try to nitpick them on it, they're just going to say, well, just give it, we're just move on to somebody else and give them the money. Well, based off of our <clears throat> preliminary cost, we're going to uh, need it all for the water anyway. And that, yeah. that doesn't take into account wastewater management either. So. I was just asking the question, and does any other board member have any questions? Ed, any thoughts? So when do we need to make a decision on when, uh, what we're going to use EDA money for, either for the road or for, for water? Does that have to be made? Uh, is there a timeline on that? Well, well yeah, go ahead. It needs to be made pretty soon, so we 
so we can start writing up the application for it because i thought we were under the you know before all this state arpa money came into the came into play we were focused on water stuff so if y'all want to change to roads then that decision needs to be made because you're going to have to i don't deal the the cdc report on the site plan did it have any road stuff in it i can't remember without looking at it yes it does let me remind you they they do they do have some plans in there okay. i i think we need to have a separate meeting discussing the cec plans so there were about three different plans there um and some of them include you know some road um options there and i think we need to review that before you guys make your final decision um because that will determine a lot going forward um, this, this, we need it's been a year so we need to kind of go back and review what options you've got there with cec um i want you guys to utilize that because that was something you spent money on and it's it's good for our infrastructure plan going forward does eda have a preference or do they have a priority that they're looking to fund versus road water broadband they don't usually fund much broadband stuff there's other agencies that do that they they do fund water infrastructure quite a bit and they do fund road projects it just it just kind of depends on the different circumstances for the for the applications but they'll do you think they, they will do either of those types of projects so well if it helps as far as priority say that again sorry about that if it helps any josh that this this deal this feasibility study has a road at seven million eight million. eight and <laughs> And as of today, due to inflation and everything, and what ODOT had recommended on that road, it's a fourteen thousand, a fourteen million dollar project. The road alone. Yeah. Pretty well answers that. How many so, miles of road? Seven. Is it? Okay. And it, and they're knocking the door of two million a mile right now, on new construction. Yeah. So that that kind of limits that scenario um jill and josh we're up against the hard uh timeline right now and so because oh, we're going to lose the quorum here in just a minute so to officially close out this meeting i'm going to have to run through a couple of things we appreciate your time and we'll be back in touch with you thank you let me know when you want to meet over the cec plans okay. thank you guys thank you jill thank you all right. Um, I do believe Todd's on the line, on the phone. It won't work. Okay. I just let. You I know. appreciate you uh, saying that. That's according to our rules and regs that I've yep. been trained by Shelly and Sonia. Uh, so let's move down to uh, any action. There's no. The update on the top grant is simple. We're doing all of our homework, and we appreciate Randy being here. He, he had a big old homework assignment. Sonia is carrying the pay weight on the group, and this is no surprise to the board that uh, uh, Jeremy and I are on. She spent a tremendous amount of time and coming up with all the history on the park and where we're at um, and we're outdated by a lot of things because we're over 10 years on a lot of projects so we're, we're going to fight that and work that through is there any reason to move into executive session at this time does any board member have a have uh, a purpose to move into executive i don't and, i don't okay any new business we do have our minutes now oh Okay, take a quick look at the minutes, <coughs> previous meeting, see any issues, please uh, bring them to my attention and we'll correct them if possible. I read through them, I don't know if you for pretty long, I'll get a lot of okay. stuff, I'll make a motion to approve them. <laughs> okay. 
Do we have a second? I was absent. Okay, I'll second it. Sutter? Yes. Mixler? Yes. Yes. Okay, there we did the minutes. So is there any new business be brought before the board at this time? Ed? Well, that, uh, they talk about the CEC plan. Yes. Uh, do we need to have a special meeting on that to decide which direction we're going to go? I think at some point, um, the earliest, uh, the way the senator explained to me, I mean, if you wanted to start like in January, uh, there's a little window to begin, which I don't think we're ready to do that. We've got some research that we need to do uh, as far as the water <coughs> situation goes, uh, which direction, probably need to do some legwork before we enter into that meeting. And then, uh, in talking with Jill, uh, we can go over this. I think uh, Shelly or Randy you could help me out, but I think we're going to have to put this out for bids. Isn't that correct? When we select a new engineer, consultant, uh, this is a separate deal. And is that correct? Uh, it's a dollar amount. Yeah. Well, it's going to be big. Okay, yeah. then yes. Yeah, I mean, I think 15000 is the limit on that. Yeah. Personal services. Uh, do what? Th yeah. This was 40 something on this feasibility yeah. study, so um, I think we will. I don't know if we need to, we can handle that, possibly special, or doing it in a regular, I don't care, whatever the board's wishes are. But I know we got to do a little research or we're just going to be stumbling around a little bit till we direction of the water flow we got an op option from the east and from the south and uh, uh, the wastewater deal is the other thing that's barely covered <coughs> in this feasibility study and I don't know Randy and I have been discussing it and I, I haven't found the numbers on it Unless you found them in here, I haven't found them on what it's going to actually take. So I'm not sure how much dollars we're going to have available for that. But it's all, all in the works as we know it. Let me talk to this guy from Commerce that's going to direct us on this deal and see what he thinks as far as. Uh, what the proper procedure is going forward. Is that all right, Alan? <coughs> that answer the question, Ed. It does. My initial reaction without, you know, knowing <coughs> which direction we're going is I'd like to see us be able to build some roads. <coughs> In the park? Or, uh, to the park. Randy said it's going to cost 14 million. And, uh, I know we probably won't have that amount of money, but we might have some money to be able to start. Yeah, it's there's there's several there's needs in the park, <coughs> and, and uh, <coughs> to recruit business, there's some infrastructure things we need to do look at anyway, and. The road is one. I was hoping that it would be able to be uh, used in with some of this other funding. I thought the EDA might be a larger amount. Uh, so, with that, I mean, all things are on the table. You know, I want Randy involved in this there's funding that we want to stay away from that would affect existing county projects or county projects that are on the books to be. And that's one thing I was thinking this would do if we had enough dollars, but I'm not sure we're going to have enough dollars to space it all out. Anyway, I need, I need to let Al go. He's got a speaking appointment in the college. We'll get everything covered on here. If, if you're good there, yeah, yeah. I can visit with you after the meeting on some more 
Sorry, I gotta give. Okay. Um, any remarks by our citizens? Hearing now, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. Sutter? Uh, I'll second. Sutter? Yes. Bixler? Yes. Thanks, guys. Alan.